Today we're going to take a look at a few different methods of replacing the sky within a photograph. You know how it is, you capture a great shot, but the weather at that particular moment in time results in a lacklustre grey overcast sky in the background. With just a few simple steps you can replace the sky with much more interesting clouds and colours to enhance the sunset vibe or create a moody atmosphere. I'll first show you the old fashioned technique of manually selecting the sky, but Photoshop now has a built in sky replacement feature which does the job in one click. Stick around till the end and I'll also show you a great toolkit you can use to build your own custom skies. First let's take a look at the old manual method. Here's a great photograph of a little red house, but as you can see the sky is just a dull white. You can find plenty of great landscape or clouds images for free from sites such as Pexels, Pixabay or in Splash.com. I'll link all the images I've used in these examples in the description. Open your donor sky image in Photoshop and go to Select and All, followed by Edit and Copy. Back in your main image document, go to Edit and Paste. Turn off the visibility of the layer for a moment, then activate the background layer again. This particular image is nice and simple with a clearly defined line between the foreground and the sky. For more complex photos, the sky replacement tool makes the job so much easier. The quick selection tool easily detects the sky, but an alternative method is to simply go to Select and Sky. Photoshop will automatically detect the sky with slightly better blending. Bring back the visibility of the clouds layer and apply a layer mask. The mask will be applied according to the active selection. Click the little chain icon to unlink the layer from its mask so the image can be moved independently. Use the Command and T or Control and T shortcut on Windows for Transform to easily move and scale the image so only the sky and clouds are visible within the masked area. You can also right click and flip the image to better match the direction of the sunlight, or to simply find a nicer composition of clouds. Sometimes the automatic sky selection accidentally captures foreground areas that it shouldn't have. You can fix these areas manually by painting within the mask with black. Alternatively, for a crisp edge like this roofline, the polygonal lasso tool can make an accurate selection that can be filled with the alt and backspace shortcut. As a finishing touch it sometimes helps to add a light haze near the horizon to fade out any thick clouds. Use a large soft brush tip to gently erase the areas from the mask. The sky replacement tool has been a feature in Photoshop since late 2020. It's a really powerful addition that makes it easy to replace a sky in seconds with incredible results. The original real life sky in this shot doesn't look too bad, but head to edit and sky replacement to see what alternatives Photoshop can conjure up. By default there's a selection of blue skies and sunset skies. It helps to choose one that somewhat matches the conditions in the original shot for a more realistic result. This option from the spectacular category fits the image pretty well. It adds both stormy clouds, clearer skies and even a heavenly glow of sunlight onto the finish line. Once you've chosen a sky, play around with each slider to find the best result. Shift Edge determines how much of the original sky is blended with the replacement. The higher end of the slider even extends the lighting onto the strip in this photo, which helps with the realism by simulating reflection. Fade Edge can result in haloing around objects, so eyeball the best result while dragging the slider from side to side. The brightness slider can help to match the overall tones of the sky with the original scene. Likewise adjusting the temperature slider can really help to blend the sky with the surroundings. Try to match the warmth of the scene to the type of lighting in the new sky. The flip checkbox is really handy to match the direction of light to the original scene. Under the foreground adjustment settings there are a few more options to try out. Setting the lighting mode to screen can sometimes generate better results, depending on the overall brightness of the image. For this photo, multiply works best. Color adjustment is a setting that can be really useful for sunset shots to match the hues of the scene to the new sky. The great thing about this tool is the entire effect can be outputted as new layers, complete with layer masks, so you can continue refining the result. There may be some areas that have been blended into the sky too much, since the sky replacement tool has been outputted to layers with masks, you can correct any mistakes like this turbine. Since this shape has clearly defined edges, a quick selection with the polygonal lasso tool can mask out the area with a black fill.
While there are already some really epic looking skies to choose from by default in the sky replacement tool, you can also import your own. Here's a free image with a lovely vibrant sunset from Pexels. The subject of this scene can be quickly erased with the content aware fill, just so it doesn't encroach into any photos the sky is applied to. This New York photo is another prime candidate for a sky replacement. Create a new sky group named Custom to keep your own import separate from Photoshop's default options. Click the new icon and navigate to the image to import it. This new sky gives the city shot a lovely sunset vibe. Let's play around with those sliders to find the best result. This particular image suffers from bad haloing, so the fade edge value is completely reduced. Increasing the temperature quite far towards yellow also helps to tie in the clouds to the warmth of the scene, which works well for a sunset shot. The illumination of the buildings suggests the image works best in its original orientation without being flipped. And finally, quite heavy lighting and colour adjustments help to enhance the contrast of the scene and blend the vibrant glow of the sunset with the tones of the foreground. There are some areas where the sky selection hasn't accurately outlined the buildings. Activate the background layer, then choose the quick selection tool. Paint over the building to generate a selection. Then paint with black within the layer mask of the sky layer to erase the clouds from this area. The quick selection tool does a good job of automatically selecting areas with a defined edge. Just make sure you have the layer with the original photograph selected. Then select the layer mask again to paint within the mask, not onto the canvas. If you really want to get creative with your sky replacements, you might want to check out this extensive toolkit named Sky Builder. It's a collection of customizable drag and drop items for creating photorealistic skies in Photoshop. You get five bundles in one, providing you with loads of skies, clouds, sunlight, birds, rainbows, aircraft and even moon graphics that can be composed in infinite ways. With this pack you have complete control over what your new sky will look like, even down to the little details. You can pick up the toolkit on its own or with up to 50% off by following the link in the description. This particular house photo already has a fairly nice blue sky. While we often long for clear sunny days like this, the sky does look a little empty. Let's add a few more elements with Sky Builder. A set of soft clouds subtly enhances the scene without completely changing the weather. The clouds are overlapping the house though. Using the quick selection tool, a mask can be made to erase this area. Just a light flourish of cirrostratus clouds would probably suffice, but why not sprinkle in a flock of birds? some mind-controlling chemtrails, a hot air balloon, or even a double rainbow. All the way. So intense. <laughs> so intense. If you enjoyed this tutorial or learned any new tips and tricks, a thumbs up on the video would be really appreciated. Stick around for more of my content by subscribing to the channel and be sure to join my mailing list at Spoon Graphics to download all my free design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.